we're talking about working out after you've had a, a meat pizza, um, meat pizza, hot dog pizza. You know, there are two things that probably people don't really enjoy a lot. But one woman is combining both math and working out. She's a professional mathematician, and she has a passion really for helping people fall in love with math. Joining us now is Susie Kuntz. We appreciate you being here, Susie. Thank you. And I see you brought the math of numbers here. Tell us about this whole idea. This is a math movement. Yes. Math and movement is a way for kids to be physically active while they learn math. So I have demonstrations for you. One is math aerobics, the fives twist. One, two, three, four, five. So what you do is you take one hand and cross it over okay. and touch your toe. One, and then the other hand, two, two. elbow to knee. Uh, 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 uh. Three. <laughs> three, four, four, and clap and say five. five. By doing the cross-body movements, you integrate the left and right hemispheres of the brain, enhancing new learning. Wow. So, so I mean, what grades or what ages would you say? Is this for everyone or what? It, it really is. So have you ever had that after-lunch sluggish feeling? Yeah. That's the perfect time to do a math and movement exercise. Wow. But also, it starts at pre-K and then goes through 12th grade. So um, with something like this, this giant 100-number grid, mm -hmm. what you would do is um, uh, stand on 65. Okay. 65, 65, 65, all right, right here. All right, so one, then what we do is we roll the die. Okay. And we have six. Six. So you would take six steps. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. Well, actually, six steps starting here going in order. Oh. So you're adding six. numbers on. Oh, okay, so I, just, on. I just messed it up. Okay, so see, six, one, 67, two, 68, 69, 70. Five, and then six, the 71. So what that oh, wow. does is helps kids add numbers. Right. So another thing that you can do is stand on 44, okay. and you could add 12. So what you would do is add 10 by taking one step to 54, and then add two more. Well, I'll do it like my son, who's like three, would do. One, two, yes. three, four, yes. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. Oh, all right. Perfect. Sixty. We're there. So, Boom. And this right. is great for rounding and, and um, any, you know, all sorts of math concepts. How'd you go up with this idea? Well, I'm a parent and a teacher, mm -hmm. and my personal mission is for kids to feel good about math, to be competent with it. So many jobs in the future are about math. And if we can have kids feeling really solid with math at a young age, then they, uh, it opens doors in the future. What are you hearing from, uh, you know, parents? They love it. Kids love it. When you roll out a mat like this one right here, this is the hop by threes mat for multiplication, the kids get big eyes and they say, what do I do? I love this. It's a game. Let's see you do it. All right. So what you do is you just jump along. You start on zero and say three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, all the way up to thirty. Or if you want to do multiplication, it would be if you say like three times four, right. four jumps. One, two, three, four. Three times four is 12. They have a clipboard. They write it down, and boom, they're ready. They will practice for hours and hours <laughs> if they can just jump. It's really a fascinating uh, concept. And imagine the kids, when they get to math class, your teacher's like, well, why'd you do so well? Yes. And they're like, one, two, three. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and it transfers over very easily. Yeah. Look, Susan, we appreciate you being here this morning. Thank Great you. Great information, very innovative. And you can learn more about the math movement and the program online. What we've done is posted a link to your information on newsforjacks.com. You can find out how to get your math movement mat on there as well. Thanks again for being here this morning. Thank you.